could be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Hi, everybody. It's Jess here, and I'm here to talk to you all about expat living in Hong Kong. Sorry if I'm looking a little bit run down today. So much better. So instead of putting together the video on my review of Duddle, it will come out because I'm going to talk about my hair. <laughs> because I was really hoping to do my hair and the Hong Kong government just shut down all of their hair salons in Hong Kong. So ever since Hong Kong has seen an explosive increase in COVID cases, we're getting about a thousand cases per day. Prior, we were barely seeing any cases. Hong Kong has been imposing a stricter social distancing measure to help contain the virus. So hair salons are among the venues that will be closed until February 24th. And we don't know if they will extend the closure. Actually, the day before the hair salons closed, there were queues right outside the hair salons and even some people took the day off to get their hair cut and what's funny is because in 2020 when the social distancing measures were first imposed hair salons remained open because they were deemed as essential service but I guess now maybe we're all used to us looking really shaggy and like pandemic looking. I think maybe they're just moving hair salons to non-essential. So who needs a haircut when the pandemic look is in now? I may even uh, start cutting my own hair. Just kidding! I'm gonna be doing a box dye. I actually have not dyed my hair with a box dye in maybe four years. <laughs> so today I have the lisse and I was thinking what color should I do my hair? And um, I might as well do pink because, I mean, we're all working from home, so really there's no one to take notice of my pink hair. So, so Lise is a Japanese brand, and this is their bubble dye. And I've done this before, but um, it's supposed to be very easy to use. <laughs> so ratchet! <laughs> I miss hair salons. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I cut off like a garbage bag, and this garbage bag smells lemons so I'm gonna see if I can make this look very elegant okay. <laughs> I don't think I need to read the instructions I think I've done this oh yeah I should I think you're only supposed to shake it like five times it's in Japanese but I'm pretty sure this means five times I hope pour it in I feel like I'm back in university doing my chemistry labs five times so ah! <laughs> I think all the hairdressers are probably looking at me like like they're just probably pulling their hair up no pun intended no one cares about the back of your head okay so I have put in the I have put in the dye in my hair. I think I'm just gonna wait for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off and see how my pandemic hair will look like. Okay, so now I have finished and now my hair is wet. So I'm just gonna blow dry it to see what the color will look like. Okay, so here is the final result. It's actually very nice. I did have some very brassy ends from the bleaching from the salon before and it's completely covered it. It's not very pink, but it's got a bit of like a beige look to it. And now my hair is one color again. It's actually pretty nice. My hair did feel a bit dry afterwards as with all box dyes. So I just put some Olaplex 
just to kind of repair it a bit. Who needs to go to the hair salon during the pandemic times when you can just do your own with a box dye? Some of the times I just go to the salon, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will be going back to do-it-yourself box dye after the pandemic because a lot of our habits have changed. And while most of the world is now opening up to learn to live with COVID, Hong Kong is still following China with a zero COVID policy. And there's been a lot of debate on whether this is actually effective or not, and when will it ever end. And because you know the Beijing Olympics are going on right now, I've read articles where people are shocked to see how strict the government is with their zero COVID policy in China. So yeah, it's very interesting to know how you know different parts of the world are adapting to COVID and I guess depends on culture and how the government is imposing different uh, restrictions or policy. And speaking of the pandemic, nowadays because the gyms are closed and the restaurants are closed, you see more people out on the streets. I've been seeing people do more exercise in the parks or playing badminton or just throwing a ball or playing volleyball. I've also seen more children just playing around. The, the jungle gyms are closed but I still see some children just running around and I've seen just more people uh, sitting outside. Well, because you're not allowed to eat in a restaurant, um, I've seen people just sitting outside in the dark, having a romantic moment and having their dinner outside with their takeout boxes. So definitely I've seen the lives change a little bit and people are very resilient. So that's all for my video today. It's a little short one. But I hope you do like my video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more on expat living in Hong Kong. Bye guys!